in the mountains of Southeast Asia are found some of the world's most ancient villages. According to centuries-old belief, these villages are protected against evil spirits. Entry is allowed only through the filter of a spirit gate, which forms the first line of defense. But sometimes an evil spirit gets through this gate. Then the houses are protected by a second line of defense, ornately carved totems designed to scare the spirit away. If the totems fail, the spirit will cause sickness. But the village shaman is armed with herbal medicine and magical rituals handed down through generations of his Aka ancestors. Living at these high altitudes, the Aka people have come to know and respect the rain and cloud forests that dominate this region. Shaped by the extremes of a monsoon climate, the land is rich in game and lush in vegetation. It has provided the Aka all they have ever needed to survive. Aka villages are tranquil places. Largely untouched by the modern world, changes to daily life are slower than changes in the weather. Visitors are welcomed as long as they pose no threat. You might see an informal gathering of men playing a game, or artisans playing their craft, or children escaping from the heat of summer. But from the village entrance, to the carvings on their houses, to their desire to face the spirits in the forest, you'll witness the Akka's unwavering belief in the spirit world and their absolute respect for it. You'll also witness sights that appear more familiar. But these children are not playing. The annual swing ceremony is an Akka celebration ritual during which the shaman communes with the spirits and thanks them for another year of his people's survival. Some parts of Akka tradition are for sale these days and the Akka are no strangers to bartering with outside visitors. In fact, they'll bargain hard to get the best price. Yet, in a more isolated village, these Akka have never seen anyone with black skin. Afraid at first, their fear slowly gives way to curiosity. How does her skin and hair feel? Will anything happen to me if I touch her? In the Golden Triangle, Aka children are paid by tourists for the photo opportunities they can provide. Spending all day under the sweltering heat and dressed in their heavy traditional costumes, the small amount of money they make is well earned. The tourists seldom learn that many of these children are orphans. It may seem unfair that they have no mother, when other Aka children sometimes have two or more in what is still a polygamous society. The Aka make most of their income from farming. The common practice today is still the age-old method of clearing and then burning the land to create new fields for their crops. Other age-old parts of their lives are slowly modernizing. Hygiene practices are improving, but the basic principles aren't always understood. Young Aka girls are beginning to depart from traditional ways. This girl is transformed into her Aka costume only for special occasions. Likewise, her mother dresses only for Aka rituals and less often than her parents did. Her own mother would have worn traditional Aka clothes every day. The older generation is fast being succeeded by the younger, bringing the biggest challenges ever faced
to the survival of the Aka people and their culture. Many Aka are moving out of their villages for the first time and seeking prosperity in the city. With the hardships and the discrimination they'll face there, perhaps only the spirits in the forest will continue to protect them. <laughs>